is the new Formula center consoles, and this thing looks sweet. Pretty sure these are new models for this year. Maybe they came out last year, but I definitely don't recall seeing them at the boat show last year. I mean, this is definitely meant to compete with all those high-end fishing boats out there. Absolutely incredible, man. Really nice. I love the high back seat too. And so this is something I've learned in another boat show before. You see how high the back seats are raised there? Looks like it's a cutting table and everything like that. But the reason they actually put those seats that high is so you're in direct line of sight with the captain. And um, only the high end, really high end brands do this. And, uh, most of your typical like sea hunts and sea foxes and stuff like that, that rear seat when they have it there is going to be lowered. Plenty of bait stations. Actually surprised this is being pushed with trip 450s. It looks like a big boat for that, but we'll have to walk over here and get on this thing here in a few minutes. I had another one over here actually as well before we go over to the other side. And this one's just the well, I shouldn't say just the twin 600. The same deal, just gorgeous. I like the red and black. This one looks sharp. These were new for this year, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The center council fish and the uh, center council sport. Yep. So as I mentioned earlier, I was pretty sure they were new for this year. And I mean, it is sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, um, Abe right here can help you answer. Hey, how you doing, Abe? When did we first start producing? Is this is this the first show you guys one. have had, Matt? One of one. Okay. Two, two. And, and they're these are the same haul. This is a fish. That's a sport. Okay. And we wanted to debut them. This is the first show. We've we've had this one out for two months. We've let a couple magazines on it. No customers. No sales. This is the first actual debut. At one o'clock, we're doing a uh, press release. On yeah, it. I saw that so, on the event calendar. Yeah, this is a uh, brand new. That is awesome, man. We've kept this under wrap for two months and used it. It's got 115 hours on it just to learn. I'm going to be honest. So just in the brief walking of the show, guys, this right here absolutely competes with the Midnight Express's Sensation, all these awesome. other guys. Like, I mean, but this one you can, this is more design. I mean, like this, I feel like this has a little more feature, fishing functionality than yeah. those boats. Have you looked at that one? I, we walked past it as I was coming over okay. here. Yeah, so but, yeah. I'm glad you say that. Yeah. We're trying to appeal to maybe the eight guy maybe not the 10 tournament fishermen yeah but the number eight hardcore fishermen but you could take that boat and blend them gotcha. so so if you have a family and you want a seated bow and you want to put the kids in the cabin or the wife up front and she could tan you could fish you could take both boats and blend it you can get that boat with all the fishing stuff on it so without going too crazy in depth on this one right now like what are your favorite features on this boat just the kind of a, the highlight reel we have the dual 40 gallon live wells dual pumps dual feeds dual uh, drains. You have 36 rod holders, 30 cup holders. This, this is one of my favorite features. Obviously, these rod holders up front are way above you. So you're thinking, well, how can I get to those? Okay, guys, so we missed that part, but he's right. Like, I mean, you can see he's we not a short out. dude by any standard. Oh! We power out 138 can coolers, which is neat in itself, right? Insulated, robust. While we're fishing, you can sit here and watch your lines, but now I have access to any of the poles up here, or I have access to come here up the ladder to put down the mast, VHFs, or you pull a seat out, lock it, you have AC at your lumbar, one of the best seats in the house. The AC right there is pretty sweet. So oh. for you guys who've never been on a boat with air conditioning, I hate to say it is a game changer, but it is, man. I mean, it'll extend your day by hours. So if you're out there fishing and, you know, everybody's getting hot, cranky, and not having a good time, man, this fixes that. So, and one of the other things I was pointing out to them when we walked up, this is still one of my favorite features is the seat height. Most boat, like a lesser, lower end, I don't yep. want to say lesser end, lower end boat manufacturers, or more value added, there we go, boat manufacturers, keep that seat low. But I've seen this a lot more in the premium boats, and they get them up high so you're, 
eye level with the captain and everybody. So if exactly. I'm turning around and talking to the people yep. at the helm now, all of a sudden, I'm not yelling and screaming that I can just, we're right there on the same thing. And as a captain, you guys may not know this too, but when you're out in rough conditions, it's nice to be able to turn around and just look and see somebody too. Because with that lowered seat, it's somebody could fall on, you'll never know it, yeah. so. <laughs> Push that away. You also have a back seat. So this one is great. If it's rough out, you can sit here. You got a foot rest. Easy access to the cooler to stay hydrated. Now is this cooler like, can I leave that open while we were running Absolutely. like that? Absolutely, yep. Yep, you can leave it open. You can open it halfway. Depends how much room you want. Like a lot of times we'll close it there, pull us out. That way you have plenty of walk room here. Gotcha. There is another awesome. cool feature I gotta show you. So now have you guys started taking orders, I guess, already? Obviously you Today's the day. Today's the day. Today is the first day that we're So what kind of turnaround are you guys looking at? I mean, I'm still curious because you guys are the first manufacturer I've talked to today at the show. Mm -hmm. What are we like compared to last year? Like, I mean, I know when I walked the show last year, everybody was two years. Are yep. we still at that spot? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. We can, uh, I'm, I might have to get you an official answer. On no, that. no. So, guys, I'll put disclaimer in this yep. video right now. So, yep. we're not holding Abe responsible for any answer he gives. I'm just curious because he's the first person I've really talked to to see where yep. we're at right now on that. If we're still at that two year mark or Absolutely we're starting not. to get, okay. It is almost an instant turnaround on this boat. Because okay. Because today is. Now, if we no, take a bunch of orders in, obviously I that understand. backs up, but yeah. our, our supply chain holds a little bit of it up, but not much. So it's going to be pretty close to an so instant turnaround. It sounds like Formula did something a little different than most of these guys. A lot of times I'll see something like this debuted at the show, and basically they don't have it ready. I mean, it's not... I don't want to say not ready, but like I've seen so many prototypes where like they're like, well, this is still going to be fixed before the yep. next hole. So it sounds like you guys are really truly ready to roll on this. We one. are ready to roll, and when we say prototype, this is one of one, and it has 150, 115 hours on it. We ran this boat and tested it to the max. We fished on it, we lived on it, you name it. You can't sell something or, or promote something that you truly haven't used or utilized every ounce of it so this one whatever we didn't think was perfect we have we have fixed it on this boat before we showed anybody and definitely before the second haul ever came out gotcha. and, and nobody builds a perfect boat and and but by george we tried oh yeah no no and you hit that one on the head nobody i mean that was a good call right there because i mean anybody who's watching this that owns a boat right now already yep. knows that i mean it doesn't matter you pick up a boat brand new from a manufacturer it's still probably going to have its little quirks that are going to have to be worked oh, out absolutely. as you go. So what was your other favorite feature on this oh. we were going to look at? Up here at the dash, which you have a great layout. You, you got your triple 16 Garmin's, your inductive chargers, but one of the coolest new features is our windshield. Powers up. But we built this thing solid. You could run with that windshield wide open at any speed. And so most of you guys, I mean, you know, my boat, for example, I've got a 30 foot center console has a power windshield, but nothing like that. It's got just a, like a six inch piece that opens up to vent a little air. Yep. So once again, guys, it's the AC, that windshield. I mean, these are all things that can extend your day from people from fatigue, being out in the water, the heat and everything like that, especially down here in South Florida. I mean, that one is really nice. I mean, if you've ever owned a boat that doesn't have a windscreen, you know what it's like to have that wind rushing in your face and it's a great experience, but you know when you need it closed too, you need it closed. So, absolutely. Now, how's the cabin look in this one? Is it uh, oh, I'm on this side. I'll let you down there. All right, guys, we're gonna walk. I'll, I'll just set your bag here. So very similar to most center consoles in this category, except I got a lot more headroom. Um, it's seven foot from where you are right there. Yep. In our storage, we wanted to do, utilize every inch of this boat. So pull this seat down. Yep, just pull. Yep, yep. and the one right behind you, pull it okay. down. Okay, just the, the behind you. No, 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 leave that one down. All right. Now pull that one down. This one. Okay. Now to your left, so that is storage for all your table or your, your bed filler here. So you're not stealing any of your other storage in the cabin. That's pretty sweet. So that just power slid out, right? No, no, it's the oh, just listing a little bit. Gotcha, right now. no, I understand. Okay, so it was pressure. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So basically by pulling those seats down, 
that compartment folds out yep. and then just popping the seats back up goes back in. Yes, sir. One less thing to fix on a boat too, guys. But very nice. Air they, conditioning, obviously, in here, microwave. The head unit, we believe, is the biggest in the market for a 38-foot center console. It's a wet head. Six foot two in there. So, definitely, I mean, I'm 5'10", guys, and I'm completely standing in there. And no, definitely in the center console, too. I mean, actually, one of the bigger ones I saw at the boat show was when World Cat released, I think it was, God, it's like a 40-footer, though. It's even mm -hmm. bigger than this. Mm -hmm. And that was the first one I've been on in a long time that had, like, that much headroom. But this is a smaller vessel than that, especially when you consider it's not a catamaran. And yep. that's got more room than that boat had on it, and just the, in that bathroom. Very nice. We pride ourselves on making a very structurally sound boat, but also utilizing every inch of that boat. And this, this boat... I think we done pretty now, you well. guys did a really good job i noticed it like i said walking up i mean these guys are right across from midnight express and i didn't even walk to the midnight express booth i saw this and walked straight here so that's i mean that's saying something for formula on that because it was something that was kind of a shock too like in other words you know i've seen what formula does in the past they make beautiful great boats but i've just never seen the center console like that and i was like man let me go take a look and they took what they do in their other vessels and just elevated it another level here and put it into a, a center console package now that is both family friendly and fishing, which is big. And we've talked about this in some other videos in the past that the fishing game has changed. It's no longer just the boys going out there and having a good old day. I mean, it's, you know, the wives are getting involved. The kids are getting involved. So you've got to have some of these creature comforts to make it comfortable for everybody to get out there. So, yes, sir. But absolutely. So plenty of storage in the side guys as well beautiful front lounger and i actually love it when boats do this i mean so many people want to put this the extra seating on the side here man if you're a guy who goes offshore a lot you're never going to use it ever it's just it takes away from the space and the fishability of the boat having the lounger up here is just perfect so but thank you so much we really appreciate it Abe. i just once again i saw this boat and i was like man i got to get on this one at least and take a look Thanks at this one in. yeah absolutely all right, guys, so we're going to continue back on to this. Um, Abe was awesome to show us this stuff. So basically, he told me this is the same hole, but that is the fish. And this is the more family-friendly version. Basically, the changes are going to be here. They've taken out those fish boxes, put in more of a trunk. A lot of the other things we saw over there, we're going to see here as well. Beautiful dash layout. Love the step up. So these seats seem high to me, but it, the, the step up changes that to where no, no longer matters. Great visibility. So this is another big one if you guys are buying a boat, especially a center console, you always got to check that. I mean, the visibility on so many of these boats is tough, man. It's You'll be shocked when you start shopping in center consoles how many boats you can't really see the bow of the boat of when you're actually looking at it. So this one, because it's not the fish, does incorporate these seats. And this time I'm okay with them being here. What it is is in the center console, if you're using it for fishing, they annoy me then. But at this point, if you're buying just the family friendly version, yeah, I would want the seating at that point in time because you're probably doing more day cruising and not as much offshore stuff. So, but like I said, this is what brought me over here because the formulas, this is what I'm used to seeing is the boat you see like behind them over there. That's more of the formula that I'm used to.